Hey guys, it's Lisa, happy Friday. I have lots of good stuff to show you today, as usual, and I have some favorites that I have bought, you know, in the past few weeks that I want to kind of get back with you on. But first, I want to tell you about the City Beauty BOGO, one of our favorite sales, like this is a good one. And if you've been here with me, you know that I love my City Beauty lip gloss. The two that I cannot live without I would pay double for are the clear that I use at night and in the morning and San Diego. So they were nice enough to send me a new clear and San Diego and I'm so excited. I ran out of my clear. I mean, I go through tube after tube, but I have been using the lip oil, which I do like, but not as much as the clear lip gloss. The lip oil, to me, now that I'm getting to the end, it's harder to get out and it doesn't coat my lips as well. And I don't think it lasts through the night as well as the clear does. And then this is my tube that I'm working on now of the San Diego. You guys, it is just like me in a bottle. It is just pearly and sparkly and peachy and pink. Like like everything and it feels so good. It does plump, but not like the Too Faced or, you know, one of those that like hurts real bad or even I think Physician's Formula has one that hurts pretty bad. This one, I, I don't even notice it anymore because I use it so much and it's not minty. It's just a slight tingling and I love it. I have worn this for years now. I never go on an event or a vacation or anywhere without taking my San Diego, and I think you need to try it. They do have like the creams, like pink nude and nude. I do like those. I wear those more in the fall and winter. Honestly, the ones I go through over and over and over again are San Diego, and let me open my clear. I'm pretty excited. When I ran out of this, I told myself I'm going to use the other things that I have in my drawer. You know, I have all those night lip masks, this, that, I have all those things and I've made myself wait to do this video, to open this box and I've been so excited. You guys, I am the worst. I cannot open a box to save my life. I have to rip it every time. But this is the clear, but these two are my must-haves. Now I know a lot of people like the Tokyo Nude is another good one. I think all of them are pretty popular. And even the dark ones, those are good too. I, I remember getting one in a gift box one time at an event and it was too much color for me, but it was still really pretty. So don't miss out on the buy one, get one. Get these two if you haven't tried them already, or if you just need the clear. And what you do is you go ahead and put two in your cart. And if you have any codes or anything, I will put them all down here. I do usually have a discount code, so I should have a discount code. And can, it's not just buy one, get one. It's buy two, get two, buy four, get four. So now is the time to stock up. So don't forget, the City Beauty. This is one of the best sales I think I ever tell you guys about is the BOGO for these. Okay, so now let's get on to, oh, the lip liner that I'm using is one of my all-time favorites. It's KVD Lolita. But for some reason, I'm not sure about the politics of the situation, but for some reason they've had to rename it. I will put that up here because I can't remember. It's not the greatest name, but I'll put it up here. And this is another. If I had to list five of my most used lip liner, it would be Lolita in there. Matter of fact, this is another one that I never go out of town or never do anything without taking this. And that is what I have on today is Lolita and San Diego only. See how much color the San Diego has in it? You can put it over other things or just use it on its own. It's enough color. And if you use it with like Totally Toffee or my Paradise lip liner or something like that, it's going to carry it more that direction, of course. But I love it and it lasts all day and it doesn't wear off crazy. It doesn't leave sparkles or glitter on your lips. I'm telling you, you guys know I, I'm a connoisseur of lip gloss and there it always comes down to a handful that I go back to and this is one of them. It's a mauve. It's a rosy mauve color that still goes with nude colors. This looks really good with peachy lipsticks too. This is a must have. I really think it is. Matter of fact, Ulta was having like a lip event 
when I was in there the other day and I grabbed a backup Lolita because I wasn't sure about the whole thing if it was really this renamed, but when I Googled it when I got home, it really is. So here is the San Diego beside Lolita. You can tell how that just works out so well. It is so pretty, so pretty. So if you get this, let me know what you think. I think that you're gonna love it. Okay, and I will say too, I just washed them off that Lolita does last. It's a long lasting one. Speaking of lips, I got these this week from Kylie Cosmetics. They are the Tinted Butter Balms. Provides long lasting 12 hour hydration, buttery smooth, coats lips, moisturizing, luminous shine, lightweight, comfortable, buildable, more pigmented payoff with jojoba oil. And it looks like Pink Me Up and Kylie are going to be my favorites. And I'll be honest, I just got this yesterday and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I think Love That For You, Pink Me Up and Kylie. I don't know, they all look good. Moving on might be too much for me, but no matter what, we can all agree that Kylie knows how to do lips. That is for sure. Okay, another new thing that I got this week is the Smashbox Foundation. I don't know if they reformulated this or what, because I think it's always been called Always On. It's the Skin Balancing Foundation with hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. And the color I chose is L20. It means light 20 olive. Here's the thing, they were out of the neutral that I really thought I needed. So I got this because I was excited and I thought I could make this shade work. And when I put it on, I wore it yesterday, I put it on and I, I knew it was too yellow, but I thought, okay, I won't go there today and I'm gonna see if they have a neutral that I can mix with it other than the one they were out of. And I just couldn't find another one. So I'm gonna wait, they're getting stock on Tuesday and I'm gonna get the neutral one and see. I'd love to just be able to use one, but it just happens that a lot of times I like to mix two. So that's it, but I really loved it. If you like the foundations that I like, like the Lancome Tint Idol, Valentino, Estee Lauder, Hourglass, all of those yummy, long-lasting, for combo to oily skin mature, then you are gonna like this. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about finding my right shade. Benefit has a new mascara called Fan Fest Hyper Black. I have it on today, but I have on lashes today because on camera, there's just no comparison to having on lashes. First of all, let me show you the wand. Notice how there is a lot of stuff on the wand. And also notice how it is small at the end. Because it's small and curved, I can really get into my lashes. So if you're like me and you have deep set eyes and very rounded eyes and small, and you really need to get in there, it's perfect for that. It has a lot on the wand, like I mentioned, and it is so good. Yesterday when I used it for the first time, which it's only gonna get better, I was able to go without lashes and feel good. And I think I took some pictures. I'll put it in here. Yeah, I did. Because I remember you could even see a shadow underneath my lashes. I really like it. Benefit has some good mascaras. I really like all their mascara. And when I went through the phase of trying all of the makeup that Pamela Anderson uses or her makeup artist, I got a few of the other ones. Those seem hard to wash off, but I did not notice that with this last night. If it was, I would have noticed it this morning too. But I didn't notice that at all. So this has been a win. Okay, some home stuff. I bought this and I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put it, but I just thought it was so cool. It comes in lots of different colors. It reminds me of Cousin It. <laughs> But it's a little lamp and you just sit it down and this kind of drapes on the floor. I'll put a picture in here. And I just thought it was really cool. So I got it and I don't know if I'll use it, but like I said, I'm working with a interior designer and she had already seen it in another color. And so I'll probably end up putting it somewhere, but I thought I would show you. It wasn't very expensive and I think it's really, really cool. This is something I saw upstairs this morning. I had it hanging on one of my racks. And when I was purchasing things to do a design designer inspired video. One of the things I wanted to compare was this bag compared to my original real Prada purple bag that I have. And when I got this in, there's no comparison. There really is no comparison. The way it feels is definitely different. And of course, the way it's shaped is different. I could still see using this like as a beach bag or, you know, if you just, of course, it's way less expensive than the original Prada bag. But I guess the point I wanna get across is it's not the same quality. And I 
I'm getting ready to show you another thing, just like the Bottega inspired shoes that I showed you. Some of those things really are just very, very comparable. Matter of fact, the Dior slides and those gold slides that I showed you, those are very close. I mean, there's just little minor details that make the difference. And I totally recommend, you know, if you don't want to spend the money to get those, but this one, it feels really, really cheap. It feels almost like something you would get at the grocery store, but it's still cute. But I just wanted to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed my Prada purple one that I have, and I think it's been worth the money. And I just don't think that that is a good alternative. I would rather see you spend your money on something else. But let's go to one more home thing that I got this week, this pillow. And when I got it in, I wasn't sure if my interior designer told me to get this because she's real good at like sending me the things I need to order. Or I asked her, I said, did, did you tell me to get this or did I go rogue and order this? I think I went rogue and ordered this. She said it would look good on my sofa upstairs, but I just thought it was cool. I've always loved like, I just think the woman's body is beautiful. I don't know, you know how I am. I just think women are beautiful and I think men are hot. And you know, I just enjoy the difference between a man and a woman. And I thought this was a good kind of abstracty type thing to have because that really does add more of a luxe look to your home when you use more abstracts and things like that. So that's why I grabbed it. And I do love the colors. I also got those leopard pillows that are in my chairs back there. And I will link those down below. A lot of these things I ordered months ago or like six weeks ago, and they're just coming in. So I'm not sure they're still gonna be available, but I love them. And I'm probably eventually going to replace those chairs, but for now, I've bitten off all that I can chew right now. Okay, so now let's go on to bras. And this one is inspired by my friend, Miss Gold Girl. She has done a lot. She really loves Soma. She's done a lot with them. And I like Soma. It's not that I have anything against them, but they have a couple of strikes. One, they are in the worst part of my little shopping center to get a parking spot because they're right across from the movie theater. Every time I want to run in there, I can't because they're, you know, so busy. And then a lot of times I've ordered and I think I did get some lounge pants that I really liked that had a cool V waist. But anyway, it's one of those things I keep trying and I just haven't found my favorite thing yet. But Marnie was doing a try on and we're good enough friends that I said, girl, your boobs look so good in that top. I think it was her Nordstrom try on. And what I meant is they were smooth. They were lifted, but not pointed, not pushed in, not pushed up. No like visible bra lines, just really pretty and a good, good shape. And she laughed and she said, it's the Soma M Bliss wireless. So I wanted to order it, but I have not had my chest measured in so long. Honestly, I don't know if I've had it measured since I lost weight over three years ago. And I do have implants, but I still lost weight and lost, you know, fullness around them. So I went in there yesterday, there was a parking spot and I got measured and I measured a 32 D or double D. That's what we started off with. It didn't surprise me because I always measure a 32. I'm kind of small around here. Here, but I don't like to wear things that tight. I just don't. It might be the, the right fit or the right way to go. And so we tried them on, tried them on, and I ended up with the 34 D, I believe, which is funny because that's what I would have ordered. But I always thought I might be a 34 C. So it's weird. So M Bliss Wireless Black 34 D. But I have to say, even though it is wireless, I can see why people with full boobs like this because you have this that gives you a lot of support even though it's wireless and then you still have this soft piece that comes over it so it's not like it's just this piece it's both of it and it's not ugly see it's still very streamlined and pretty and i really i love it just didn't give me smushed up granny boobs and I don't like to look like I am trying to push my boobs up. I wish I had natural full saggy boobs. You know what I mean? It's like, I like that. I like natural boobs. Have I talked about that enough? I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm glad I got that. And the, here's the thing. It was $50, which really in the whole scheme of things isn't that much. And I was gonna get the nude one also, but they didn't have it in stock. And I asked her, you know, was there a sale or anything? And she said, no. But this morning I went to go look online and they're buy one, get one half, I think. So now's the time 
time to get it. I don't know if it's just an online thing, but I'm going to order the nude one and maybe the, I like to have a pink bra and maybe the pink one. So that is one. And then <laughs> my typical bra, matter of fact, yesterday I had worn the bra that I have on now, which is my a little Aritzia Tallulah bra, because this bra is very, very minimal. This is the one I saw Valeria Petoskey or whatever. I'll put her Instagram in here. This is the one I saw her wearing that was just so minimal. And a lot of times I really like stuff like that because I don't want to look any bigger than I am. And like I said, I don't want to look smushed up and in and out. And I really love teeny tiny straps. So she's the one that inspired me and I love them. I love the lace one and the plain ones. I first ordered small and then I had to order the medium. The small, because it was so much tighter around my middle, it spread the cups out too far, if you know what I mean. So the medium fits me the best and I do love these. But when I was on the Abercrombie website ordering another one of these, which is that tank that I wore a few weeks ago, and I told you it fit almost like a bodysuit. Well, that was by design. It's called the Tuck Tank or something like that, and it fits like a bodysuit, but it's a tank top. I love it, so I ordered another one, and I saw this little bra. So this morning, I tried it on so I would be able to tell you, and I love it. It's not quite as soft as the Tallulah, but I think it's kind of smoother. I think the lace is smoother and it's sexy. I just love these kind of bras, these very, very minimal bras with no padding. I don't even mind that it has the wire. It, that doesn't bother me. I just like it to be minimal. And this one also has the skinny straps and it has gold hardware, just really pretty. Abercrombie, I have to say, they have just really stepped up their game. And I feel like they have gotten more mature. It's not as young as it used to be. Even the pants and everything I feel like fit better, like the trousers that I showed. And I had one of you say that the trousers were too heavy for summer. I really don't think they are. They're a good weight. They're called crepe or something like that. And I've enjoyed wearing them through the summer and the winter. I don't think anybody that is gonna be in snow is going to wear trousers anyway. I think they're good all year round pants. What else did I get from Abercrombie? I'm wearing them. So I got these jeans. I'm gonna get up and show them to you, but this is my dilemma. I still have the tags on them because I just got them yesterday. Today was the first day I was trying them on. I love the big cuff. And I know that you can big cuff any pair of pants that you have, but this one is stitched. And I love that look, but tell me if they look right on me or good enough because I am 5'6", but I'm mostly torso. So my legs aren't really long and I don't know if I have enough ankle showing. So let me show you these and let's make a combo. Let's show you some shoes too while I'm at it. First, if you didn't see my Revolve try-on haul, I'll put that up here because there were some good pieces in there, especially for fall. But I showed you these shoes, which are similar to my Schutz Ariella, which are one of my all time most favorite, comfortable, sexy, high heels. I mean, it is amazing how comfortable those shoes are. So when I saw these on the website, I thought I'm gonna try these because they look like the same pitch and everything. And they're a little, I don't know, I feel like they're a little bit edgy looking. <laughs> Perfect pair of heels to wear with jeans. Day before yesterday, I wore these all day with my Zara funky cargo jeans. I wore them to Ulta. I wore them to Barnes and Noble. I wore them, I don't know where else I stopped that day, but they never hurt my feet. Are you gonna run in them or anything like that? No, but if you're like me and you have those times and you have those jeans that you need to wear a pair of heels, these are really good ones. So I'll show you these first and then we'll go on to another pair I got. Okay, so let's start with the jeans. They are the baggy mid-rise. I got 27, which is a four regular. And I'll be honest, when I first opened them and took them out, I thought, oh, they're gonna be too tight in the waist. They just looked like the kind that I can't wear because I'm so straight. But that's part of the good that I love about them. They actually fit me nicely in the waist. I don't care if they're not short enough. I think I'm keeping them. But I love that they're a baggy fit, but they're not over the top because I just did a trends video that you'll see soon. Baggy's where it's at and low rise and low slung. These aren't low, but they're medium. So they, you know, to a lot of people they might be. But here are the shoes 
with the jeans and this tank. Let me show you these up close. Fabric is so good. I think they're 1% elastane and 99% cotton, which is a very good wearable combination. See, I love this. I love how it goes straight and flat off of my butt. I'm not much on this. It's the 90s girl in me. I just like things to kind of hang off of my bones. <laughs> <laughs> but look how these shoes look with this. And I think it's, okay, notice how these, the heels aren't flipping and flopping on these shoes. There is something about the arch and the pitch of this shoe that just makes them so, so comfortable. And then another pair of shoes that I have been so happy with are these. These are the Javianas, which is nothing new for me, but these are the Javiana Farm Rios, and not only do I love the design, it's just enough so that it shows a little bit with your foot and it gives them a little bit of pizzazz. I wore them yesterday with trousers and I just loved that look, but they're squishier. They're so much more comfortable than the typical Javianas that I wear. Now when I put my regular Javianas on, it's like hard but these are very squishy and comfortable. I love them. I love them. This is something I ordered this week and they were half off. If you follow me on Instagram, I put a post out that they were half off, that coach was running a sale. I'm not sure they still are, but if they are, I'll, no matter what, I'll list them down below. I have these in the nude, one of my favorites, probably one of my favorite pieces that I have gotten you know, in the past six months. So let me show you these on. They're gorgeous. They're so flattering on the feet. And it's funny, when I posted the nude ones and was telling you guys they're on sale, one of my followers on Instagram sent me a picture of her with the black ones with jeans. And she was telling me how much she loved them. She got them on sale and how good they looked with jeans. And I was like, that's it, it's done. I ordered them right then. Let me look in the mirror. Yes. Okay, these are gonna be a little bit more flippy floppy. So if you have a pair of trousers on, I don't know how it would go, but these shoes are just beautiful. They're padded inside and they're just really pretty. I don't know how to describe how pretty they look. Like just an itty bitty part of your toe sticks out and it just looks very, very flattering. I love them. No regrets. If you can get them on sale, that is the way to do it. Okay, I sat down and I had one more I wanted to show you. These that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Last year, I bought the Cult Gaia in the pink and the black. I love them. I love those shoes. They are very unique, of course, with the heel. Even the way they're made is very unique. It's very similar to YSL shoes where they're very sturdy and made very well. And I got these this year. I hope you did too. I told you about them. And then when I went to go get the higher heel, they were sold out. But these are the nude. Oh, I love them. I think a higher heel might look better with these jeans, but these shoes are beautiful. Okay. Oh, and my hair, you guys. Okay. I didn't think I was going to wear my hair up today, but after I did my makeup, I decided I would wear it up. I haven't worn it up much this year and I just got new hair color. So you can see that it has like a, a few little darker pieces in there. She used a good old favorite of mine. It's Redken 9NN is the color that she used. And I like that because it gives it dimension, but I used a little tiny bit of the Wow hair powder, but I didn't use too much because I didn't want it to look like so dark around the edges. So here's what I'm saying. If I look all patchy on the side, it's because I'm, I didn't do my makeup thinking I was going to wear my hair up. Not that that matters, but just because, and I also wanted to tell you about my hair color because I really like it and a lot of people ask me about that. Okay, shoe update of all shoe updates. The Hermes Oran Flats. I get it, I get it. These suckers are comfortable and I figured out why. The whole day I was walking in them, I'm thinking, okay, I'm always thinking, why are these better? Why are these so popular? The reason is they, come up a little bit higher on your foot than a lot of other shoes do. And so you don't have any of that feeling of gripping the shoe. 
You know what I'm talking about? Because I think that happens even if we don't realize it. When we wear shoes like this, we have a slight gripping feeling. But these you could wear around the house like slippers. They just fit so nicely. I'm so glad I went ahead and got the 38 and a half. So if you do get these size up half, because I do think it's possible to wear your true size. Maybe if you have a really thin foot, mine's pretty average, I would say, but I really like the 38 and a half. So when I wore them, no regrets, all of that good stuff. And I do like the black with the stitching. I think that just adds a little something. And I love the furry, like the shearling ones, when they come out with those in the fall, I'm gonna get a pair. But you guys, these, these aren't even really bargain shoes. I think these are still right around $100, which is not, it's not like it's a cheap shoe. But I wore these, we went to go see the Barbie movie, and I wore these, it was raining, and I couldn't dress up, so I wore my Barbie sweatpants, which I love, from Zara, and I wore these shoes and then a pink blazer and I can't remember. Seems like I had on a Zara pink bodysuit. So I still dressed up some. These shoes are so beautiful, so comfortable. Now they don't go up quite as much as the Hermes do, but they're not real low and they're comfortable. I feel like everyone should have these. These shoes are Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wore them the other day with those pants from Zara that are that buttery yellow color, which is another fall trend for 2023 that's coming up, is that buttery color. And I wore them with that, with this really cool top that my friend Denise, she opened a new store, and I will leave that below, that she gave me. And it was kind of funny because I was just, like there were so many different things that I wanted to wear that day. I just kind of put them all together and it went. It was a crazy look. Even John said, that's a different look for you, but I like it. And then Brooke said the same thing. But I wore these that day, and they're just so comfortable. So if you haven't tried these, give them a try. They're true to size, and these would be a great gift if you're thinking ahead for the holidays, I know, I know, or for a birthday or something like that, because I will get to wear these, I would say, eight months out of the year. Another update, these pants from Zara, love love these pants. I wore them last weekend with a t-shirt from my friend Denise's store that she sent me, and I just loved it. It was the perfect vibe. The only thing is I got the small. This is going to be a personal thing. Do you want them to be kind of fitted, or do you want them to be flowy and drapey like they are on the model? I think I want mine to be flowy, and I really did like the top that comes with this. So I just placed an order this morning with Zara before they're gone because I'm telling you guys, I can barely show you stuff before the things are sold out. So I reordered these in the medium. I'll give these to Brooke. And I got the top to match and I got the black set too because I just love it. And it's not expensive and I think it is an amazing look. So these, I love this color. This is coming in style for home and clothes for the fall. One of the trends, love it, love it. Okay, t-shirts. I ordered two from Anina Bing and I don't have them steamed, I'm sorry. They would look so much better. You know I have a thing for like wings and stuff like that, I do, I love it. It says Los Angeles, the road ahead. AB for Anina Bing, California. The main thing is I love the color, colors. I love that it's just this creamy color and the black, it's gonna look so good. It would look good with those pants I just showed you. It's just one of those tees. That's what you have to pay attention to is the color and the design because that will make the difference if you can wear it or not. I did order these off of her website. I don't see the price on here, but I will put it down below. It says off-white, size small. Then I had to, I ordered another one of my Bridget Bardot t-shirts because I'm scared they're gonna quit making it and I love mine and wear it so much. It looks good with everything and I did not even like it until I cut it. I mean, of course I like the design, but I never wore this t-shirt until I cut it. So I'm gonna use that one to cut this one and wear it and I just love it. Sephora, when I was on the way to get my hair cut, I had about 45 minutes and I was all the way on that part of town. So I ran in Sephora to see if they had anything new. And I think I, I tried everything that they had in new. Got John a t-shirt just in Kohl's. 
and I was checking out and one of the girls that the manager there that I actually went to high school with Lisa I saw the Moroccan oil bar of soap and I was telling her how good that was and how much I liked it and she said my favorite is the way in the St. Bart's so she went and showed it to me and I smelled it it smells so good I'm not crazy about Dean Street and some of her other scents, but this one, I got the body cleanser. And you guys, when you use a shower gel, do you use a loofah or do you use a washcloth or do you use a sponge? Will you tell me what you use? I'm just curious. I've always used a loofah, but sometimes I just get tired of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's beachy. It's beachy. St. Bart's, it's beachy. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. I just love it. So I got the body butter to try too. I've been using my Osea oil, my unscented hemp's with a pump of the Moroccan oil original. That's been my concoction lately. A pump of each of those, but I'll try this and see how it goes. So that's all I got at Sephora. And then I told you I went in Ulta this week and got those Lolita and the mascara. Okay, here's the Lolita that I got. I bought my mom another one of our favorite deodorant and antiperspirant. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. And the funny thing is, somebody told me that they quit making this in the antiperspirant, but it says deodorant antiperspirant stick. So I grabbed it because I don't even need anything anymore. Ever since I got on carnivore diet, I know people are gonna think this is crazy. I think the combination of the carnivore diet and my age has made it where I just, it's not that I don't sweat, but only if I'm walking or something. I typically don't sweat or smell. And I think that's because I don't eat any like preservatives and stuff. I don't know. I'll let you, <laughs> I'll just let you sit on that one. And then this, <laughs> I was on my computer. I think I was editing my Barbie Zara video. If you didn't see that, I will put it up here. It's magical. To me, I had more fun at Zara that day than I did at the movie, if that tells you anything. It was just beautiful and this came across and it's the same brand as my luggage which is the i don't know how to pronounce it if i had to guess it would be base b-e-i-s and they had a whole line of luggage in this color i already have pink it's a good thing i didn't want it because it was all sold out except for this which is a cosmetics case well like i mentioned to you it just so happens i'm kind of in the market for a cosmetics case that isn't as big and doesn't take up as much room as my caboodle. And you guys, I'm a caboodle girl. I have had that caboodle forever. Not that particular one, but I have had a caboodle as long as I can remember since early 20s, but it takes up a lot of room. So when I saw this one, I grabbed it because it is hard. Whereas some of them, I'm just worried that my makeup's gonna get crushed. So this has this, not sure what that's for actually. Then it has like your brush section then it has a mirror in here that you can use and then it's pretty much open on the bottom which i don't like ones that are real sectiony i had one from amazon that i tried to use for a while it just limits you so let's see what it says removable compact mirror brush holder for touch-ups easy to clean for mishaps zipper pocket for organizing we will see i've got a couple of trips coming up here and then this is something funny. Do you guys know if this would work in my, I know a lot of you have this. It's that sharper image hand soap that you just put your hand under. I got it a long time ago and we still use it. And you buy the soap that goes in it. I'm curious if this might work in there. When I went in Ulta, I went to the restroom and this is what they had. And it's the herbal lavender, just scented foam hand wash. Theirs wasn't the foam, but I like foam. It smells so good. I mean, it smells so good. It smells just like a, a spa, a spa mixed with a sexy man. That was UPS. Let me see what I got. Yay, perfect timing. I saw Caroline. I will put her Instagram down below, but I saw her talking about these shoes and I thought I would try them for us. They are Manolo inspired and they are pretty. They weren't crazy cheap. I think they were still like 50 bucks, but look at that. And it's got the block heel 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Right off the bat, I'm thinking how cool these would look. And I know it's gonna be too much for a lot of you. These would look so cool with a pair of camouflage pants. Just that mix. So let's try on these, yay! And you can see they are still like the satin with a ribbon and that pretty design. Ooh, these are pretty, comfy. Okay, let me walk a little bit. Yep, I think we have a winner. Here, let me pull my pants leg up so you can see them. Yes. Oh, very, very nice. Now with the block heel, that does take away from the sexy factor and the dressy factor. And I think that that's kind of like the beauty of these is that they are that, you know, Manolo design, but with the block heel and the black, it's got to be black. I love it. And just how pretty they look from the front. Yay, okay, another win. Okay, you guys, and for accessories, how could I forget to put earrings on with a ponytail? Oh my goodness, it's too late now. Okay, these are the ones that I never take out and they're from Miranda Fry. Okay, I have on my two necklaces that I got from the Nordstrom sale. I'm not sure if these are still available, but I love them. This one's like so warm from wearing it. And then my ideal, the Ava little diamond from last week that I showed you, my Sheila Fajal ring. Someone asked me about how this one fits. I mean, I don't really know what to say, but it's, I don't know. I mean, I think it, this is a size seven and it's where I always wear all of my size sevens. What I like about this is I like that it's brushed and it's big, but see how it's kind of streamlined into my hand? So it's not one that you think about. You know what I mean? You just put it on, you wear it, and it doesn't clank on anything. And then my Rolex watch, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like I had to have something here that you need that to make you happy this weekend. And I will be back this weekend if my Zara package gets here in time. If not, it'll be next week. And I have lots of good videos coming up, including my fall, 2023, 10 things that we already have in our closets. If you've been following me and buying some of the things that I have, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.